Right now, our King 5 email and voicemail is full of messages from you concerning an alleged cyber attack at Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, which operates St. Joseph Hospital in Pierce County. The parent company confirms it is dealing with what it calls an IT security incident. Not only does it affect operations, it affects patient care. King 5's Brady Wakayama is live at St. Joseph Medical Center with the latest tonight. Brady. Yeah, information is still limited on how this cyber attack happened, but as a result, some appointments have been rescheduled, which is concerning for some families and patients in the area. Everything we do today is all on a computer, and without it, you're back to you know, the Stone Age writing on a tablet. That's the frustration for Mark Kellogg and other patients at hospitals run by Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, which is coping with a cyber attack. Military getting hacked and, you know, banks, it's, it's just about a daily occurrence anymore. Uh, doesn't make it any less scary. Officials with VMFH say as a precautionary step, they have taken certain IT systems offline which may include electronic health record systems. They say their facilities are following existing protocols for system outages and taking steps to minimize the disruption. Kellogg's wife, Kathy, was scheduled to have a cancerous tumor on her tongue removed on Monday, but it had to reschedule. It's scary anytime you say cancer. That word is just scary. Kathy has already had two bouts with cancer. When she had the breast cancer, that, that kind of took it out of me for a while. Rescheduling her appointment has been stressful during a difficult time. We were concerned that it might be a couple of weeks or something to reschedule. You know how scheduling can be for these things. But they were able to get her back in right away, you know, two days later. Kellogg says the surgery went well Wednesday with doctors removing the tumor. He says it's a huge relief and acknowledges he's fortunate that the appointment didn't get delayed much longer. You have to deal with the cards that are dealt you, yeah, and, and uh, my wife has always held up pretty well through all of them. And hospital officials did send us a statement within the last 15 minutes saying they appreciate everyone's patience as they work around the clock to resolve this cyber attack. For now, live in Tacoma, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.